Well, I hope things are the color of the rainbow when it comes to you managing your finances. But hey, if you are not doing that, we're helping you manage it a little bit better right now. This is Good Morning Bangalore with K. Hey, yeah. Nearly at the end of the week, it's the Thursday edition. It's UTI Mutual Fund presents the UTI Swatantra series. And hey, 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 this is K. I'm in conversation with Prashant N. Nimgade. He's the founder and CEO at SIPfund.com. Good to have you back. Thanks for coming by. Thank you for having me again, K. Uh, now, we need to get to the mistakes to avoid while planning retirement. So, one mistake which uh, a majority of the retirement planners without an advisor would do is put all eggs in one basket. Second mistake which should not be done is don't dip into your retirement pot every now and then. Okay. Yeah, don't touch that it's a sacrosanct it's like a you know this is a money that is going to be useful for you after 60 or after uh, your retirement and therefore don't dip into it the third mistake which people do is you start too late even current scenario the technology and the work culture is such that you work 12 hours 14 hours a day and you're likely to burn out a little early so the retirement age is going down, going down from yeah. 60 to 50 so you would say don't leave it until the last minute start early you probably have to have less compromise we're going to be more in conversation with him. It's Prashant N. Nimgade. He's the founder and CEO at SIPfund.com. My name is K. Messages him back. Well, I hope that the only thing bursting at the seams for you is, well, the money that you get when you start your retirement. We're helping you manage your money a little bit better, plan for retirement better, and which is why this guy is in to help us out. This is Good Morning Bangalore with K. Hey, yeah. Second half of our conversation, it's UTI Mutual Fund presents the UTI Swatantra series. My name is K. You've just upgraded to 94.3 Radio 1. To start out all your financial worries, this is why we do this. Uh, I've got Prashant N. Nimgade. He's the uh, founder and CEO at SIPfund.com. It's good to have you back. We're going to get to your question. Uh, what are the things to consider while calculating the retirement corpus? The things you should consider, number one is, what is the time left for you to retire? Then second is, how much time you're going to have during the retirement period? What are your commitments? up to the age of 50 or up to the age of 45 what are your commitments going to be after 45 where uh, exactly your corpus has been invested so you need to look at the allocation types where you have allocated your money is it too much into one asset class is it too much into an illiquid asset class and the last one most important is the taxation I find it hard for me personally to comprehend this planning for retirement because you know you have all these things that you want to spend on for me it's like gadgets and food I don't know if you've ever felt that have you had that when you were younger so the thing is uh, everybody had (laughs) (laughs) the the real the reality is, uh, at the age you are in, mm-hmm. if you start saving even 10% of what you are uh, spending, mm-hmm. I think that's a decent plan for you to retire very nice. Okay, awesome. It's uh, UTI Mutual Fund presents the UTI Swatantra series. My name is K. Stay tuned. UTI Mutual Fund presents UTI Swatantra series season 2, powered by 94.3 Radio 1. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.